Hey, it's Aaron here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you the number one work from home business for any beginner that you can start this year. And I'm gonna reveal that in this video, so make sure you stick around till the end of the video. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I always come up with content that will teach you how to be more successful using the power of the internet, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We come out with videos about three times a week. So we live in a day and age right now where the internet is as powerful as it's ever been. I mean, if COVID taught us anything, it's that you need to take control of your finances, your own income, and you can't rely on on a full-time physical job to pay you that salary every single month because you never know what's going to happen with the world. There could be another COVID-19, there could be another pandemic, there could be a war, there could be an economic crash. I mean, all of these things are actually looming on the horizon now and everything is cyclical, isn't it, right? So if it's happened before, it will happen again. It's just a matter of time. So the only thing that we can control is controlling our income more so that no matter what happens on the outside, on the peripheral, you're still gonna be okay because you're controlling your income. And one of those ways is to actually build a business working from home. You started off as a side hustle, then the side hustle becomes a full-time hustle and then you can basically quit whatever job that you're in. And that's exactly what I did. In 2009, after working in a full-time job for about five years, I was burnt out. I was doing 12-hour days, six to seven days a week. And after that, I was just thinking to myself, there has to be more to life than just working full-time for somebody else, right? Getting stuck in traffic, one hour there, one hour back, wearing a suit to work every single day, being really, really tired at the end of the day. I would usually finish my days at seven or 8 p.m., not much time to go to the gym or spend with your loved ones, and then you go to sleep, and then you repeat that cycle again over and over and over again. And even though the money was okay, you know, it was still not a way to live, and so I looked for options, right? I looked for a way to change my life, and that's how I went to the internet, and people do that all the time, right? So I, you know, I, I Googled, how do I make money online? How do I start a business from home? And I found a lot of different things online. And here are some of the things that you may have seen. You may have seen people talk about drop shipping. You may have seen people talk about Amazon FBA. You may have seen people talk about starting some sort of digital agency. Now, all three of these options are okay, and you can make a lot of money from these options, but the problem with all three of them is the cost to start is very, very high, okay? So you need a minimum of five to 10,000 US dollars to start any of these three businesses. And the other problem is with dropshipping and Amazon FBA, because you're selling physical goods, the margins are very small. Because the problem with physical products is there is a limit on how much you can charge someone for that product. Remember, if you're selling a pair of glasses or you're selling a pair of sneakers, you can't charge someone $5,000 for that pair of glasses or those pair of sneakers, right? Nobody's gonna pay that much money for those items because they know how much a pair of sneakers costs. They know how much a pair of glasses costs. They know how much a mouse costs. They know how much a speaker costs, right? There is a manufacturing cost and then you make a little bit of money on top and that's basically your profit. So the margins are tiny, which means that it becomes a volume game. You have to literally sell hundreds of products every single day in order for you to hit maybe 10 or $20,000 a month. And that's just ridiculous because you have to handle all the customer service, all the refunds, all the returns, all the shipping and handling, and it's just, crazy stuff and you don't really want to do that. So you want a work from home business model where the margins are high, the customer service is either zero or very, very minimal, and it doesn't require you to jump through so many hoops and manage and juggle so many different parts in order for you to make it work. And after failing for a very, very long time and trying all sorts of business models, not only the three that I mentioned, but I did MLM, I did top tier direct sales, I've done free websites online, I've, I've done surveys, I've done GPT websites, I've sold t-shirts on Facebook, I've done lots of different things and out of all of them, I found that affiliate marketing, selling other people's products is actually the simplest work from home business that you can start if you are a beginner. Now, how does this work? Okay, so affiliate marketing is actually very simple. 88% of all retail companies around the world have an affiliate program. All that means is that if you want to resell somebody else's product, they will give you a little link that you can have, and when you share that link and someone buys through your link, you will actually get a referral fee for helping that company market their product. It's as simple as that. Now, if you think of some of the biggest retailers around the world, like Amazon, like Walmart, like Target, like Nike, like Reebok. So if all the biggest retailers in the world have an affiliate program, then this is one of the most legitimate work from home opportunities. But the interesting thing is hardly anybody knows about it. And the other thing is hardly anybody does it well, okay? Now affiliate marketing, interestingly enough, 
is a $12 billion underground industry. Now, if you want to take it one step further, there are also a lot of digital companies that sell digital training courses and digital software and digital products where you don't have to mail it physically. You can literally get an instant download and that just saves a lot of time, a lot of headache. You keep everything online, all the deliverables are online and also the profit margins are way higher because now we're selling a digital product, not a physical product. Remember I said physical products are not great to sell because the profit margins are small. So if you sell something digital, it's information that's gonna help someone change their life, then the price points are a lot higher, the profit margins are a lot higher, they get that instant download, and you don't really even have to worry about any refunds or anything like that, because when you sell other people's products, the product owner handles all the refunds and all the customer service. So the only thing that you have to do is get very, very good at marketing that product. All you need to do is learn how to become a good middle person. You find a group of people that have a problem that they're trying to solve. You find an affiliate product, a digital affiliate product that they can download instantly. And when you connect them together, you make a commission and you can make a very, very big commission if you learn to do this right. So I'm logging into one of my affiliate accounts right now and you can see that I've generated $886,963 in commission selling this particular product alone. And that's just crazy stuff, right? And this is just one of my affiliate accounts. I sell actually quite a few other affiliate programs because you can marry them together and sell a package of them. And so I've generated commissions in other places as well. So when people ask me, is affiliate marketing and selling other people's digital products profitable? Is it a legitimate industry? I mean, you can see right there proof positive that it is legitimate and it is actually very, very profitable. I mean, this industry literally allowed me to quit my full-time job in April, 2019. And I was able to five times my old salary. I was doing pretty well actually in corporate. Uh, but there's just nothing like selling products online 100% digital where you only have to do one thing which is learn to market the product you don't even need to do the customer service you don't need to own the product you don't need to do any shipping or handling or anything like that and it's just a beautiful industry and the beauty of it as well is that you sell from the world so I'm actually based in Kuala Lumpur Malaysia a lot of people think I'm based in the US but I'm not I be I'm based in a small little country in Asia a lot of people don't even know where Malaysia is and I sell to the world a lot of my clients come from the US, the UK, Canada, Australia, all of Europe, and some parts of Asia as well. So you can literally be based in a tiny little island in the French Polynesia, or you could be based in the desert somewhere. As long as you have an internet connection, you can literally build this business from anywhere, and that's why I love it. Another reason why this business is so good for beginners is because it's affordable. If you think about starting any sort of business, okay, the one that always comes to mind is starting a bar or a cafe or a restaurant or something like that, right? And in 2008, before I started this business, I wanted to start a restaurant because I enjoy cooking, right? Now, when I did my research, I realized that I needed to spend 250,000 US dollars in order to start my restaurant. Now think about that, who the heck has a quarter of a million US dollars sitting in their bank account? I mean, that's a lot of money, right? What I had to do was actually, I had to take a 90% loan, put down 10% of my own money, right? And then take that money, build the restaurant, which the cost was just astronomical because if you think about most traditional businesses, there's just a lot of cost. There's rental, there's construction, there's salaries, there's insurance, there's the food you have to pay for, the renovations, the rental of the property, um, you know, the tables, the chairs, the cash register, all that stuff. So that's why starting a normal business is so unaffordable. It's so out of reach for most people, right? And that's probably why you're watching this video right now. You're looking for something that's work from home, that's realistic, that's affordable, and it's something that you can do on the side and eventually build it up into something really big, right? And that's what I did. You know, I had a full-time job for a long time. So what I did was I found times in my day where I had a little bit of a lull, okay? So on the way to the office, I had an hour driving in the car. I used to make YouTube videos. On the way back, I had another hour. And then I used to take an hour lunch break and I would bring my laptop to Starbucks and actually work on my business for 45 minutes and then I would finish a sandwich quickly in 15 minutes and I did that very very consistently of course I put in a bit more time on the weekends because on the weekends you're pretty much free right sure you got to spend a bit of time with your spouse and the kids or whatever commitments that you have but you have no excuses for not putting a little bit of time on Saturday and Sunday I mean that's why it's called a side hustle right so you start as a side hustle and then eventually this side hustle became a full-time hustle 
and at five times what I used to be making and then I went full time in 2019 and it literally changed my life. So the question is, is how do you start in affiliate marketing? All right. So there are a couple of places that you can go to to pick products. There are a lot of networks out there where people actually already have digital courses and digital trainings that are free. You can just pick them up and recommend them. So you can go to places like Clickbank, JVZoo, Warrior Plus, Digistore24 and these are very big networks where they've got lots of products and you can just decide on a niche to go into to find the products that you want to promote. The three biggest niches where you'll make the most money is health, wealth and relationships. Now you can sell outside of those niches too but if you generally pick a product within those three health, wealth and relationships you will do very very well because the demand within those niches is very very high. So the next thing that you need is you need an actual selling process because you have to be able to recommend those products to people. You can't just stick it in front of their face on Facebook or Instagram and just expect them to buy straight away, okay? You need to build a little bit of a relationship with these people. So you need to build out a very simple selling system. Now the tools that you need for that is first of all, you need a funnel builder. The one that I like to use is ClickFunnels, okay? You also need an email autoresponder. I like to use GetResponse. This is an email automation software that follows up with your prospects so that you can build a relationship with them over time. And then the last tool you need is you need a tracker. I like to use ClickMagic, right? And this tracks all your clicks, it tracks all your conversions, so you know where your sales are coming from. Are your sales coming from Instagram? Are they coming from YouTube? Are they coming from YouTube Shorts, for example, right? Are they coming from your email? You need to know where the sales are coming from so you can double down on the strategy that works. Now, a lot of people complain and they say, oh, but that means I've got to invest in tools in order to make this work. Yeah, you're building a business. I mean, if you built a restaurant, and you didn't have any food or a kitchen to cook the food, how can you own a restaurant, right? So the kitchen, the food, the tables, the chairs, the premises, those are the tools that make a restaurant business work. Online with affiliate marketing, your funnel builder, your email manager, and your tracker is what makes this business work. Now, the big difference is, is that the cost is much, much lower. You can literally get away with only spending $150, $200 a month on your affiliate tools compared to a restaurant business, which is easily about four or 5,000 US dollars a month just to cover the basic stuff. So, I mean, there is absolutely no comparison, right? So if you're serious about starting something from home, you have to understand that you can't be cheap okay when it comes to building a business you can't be cheap on your journey to greatness it requires you to put in a little bit of seed money in order to grow it into something tremendous that will literally change your life altogether all right and so because i knew that i was willing to invest in myself and i was willing to invest in the business in order to grow it and you've seen some of the income that i showed you already right i mean this is what's possible when you plant that little seed and you cultivate it so it blooms into a beautiful flower, into a beautiful tree that actually bears fruit and that is what takes your life and your business to the next level. Now, once you've got the selling system, the final thing that you need is you need eyeballs. You need the targeted group of people that is interested in your particular niche to see your stuff and they need to come through that selling process. Now, there's a lot of traffic online, okay? There are paid networks, there are free networks, there's organic traffic, there's social media websites. You could get search traffic directly from Google if you build a blog and you rank your articles. There are influencer networks. You can go directly to influencers themselves. There are just so many ways to get traffic and what you need to get really good at is understanding where your audience hangs out. And for example, if you're in the weight loss niche and you're selling a weight loss training affiliate program, then you need to target people that might be interested in losing weight and getting some advice on weight loss, okay? And these people hang out on all of the different places that I mentioned earlier and it's not difficult to target them when you understand how to do this right. And that's basically your business, right? It's actually a very simple process. Now, because you're starting this as a beginner and because this is a side hustle, it's not gonna be finished right away, right? You have to remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. It's something that you have to lay brick by brick, okay? But the cool thing about marketing online is that doesn't mean that it's gonna take you five years to create a $10,000 per month income. You can literally get to 10K per month in less than six months if you work hard at this, right? So again, it has everything to do with you. Are you going to be a good student? Are you going to actually learn the information and take action? Are you going to be consistent? Or are you going to be lazy and are you going to be someone that just complains and at the first sign of trouble, you're going to throw in the towel and give up and call everything a scam? If you're that second person, the latter person, then unfortunately nothing is going to work for you, right? This is a tested, proven business model. There are hundreds of thousands of affiliates around the world working from home just on their computer with an internet connection that are making over easily $10,000 a month, all right? There are very, very few jobs 
jobs out there that even pay $10,000 a month. So think about that for a second and let that sink in. Even if it did take you three months to get there, even if it took you six months to get there, even if it took you 12 months to get there, even if it took you 24 months to get there, is it worth your time? Absolutely. I mean, think about this. Life is long, right? So if you're 40 years old now, how long do you have left to live in the world? You've got at least another 40, 50 years. That is a long time to work in a shitty job that you don't like, right? What if you're 50 years old? That's still you know, 30 to 40 years of your life working in a crappy job. If you're 60 or 70 years old, still 10 to 20 or 30 years working in a crappy job. So is it worth putting in the time to build this type of business on the side and eventually get it there and then quit your full-time thing so you can control your income, have more time for yourself, travel the world, have a good time? Absolutely, it's worth it. I did it, you can do it too, I'm no one special. I just had a dream and I knew that I didn't want to work in a suit for somebody else for the rest of my life. I didn't want to be stuck in traffic. You know, I didn't want to be stressed out all the time. And yeah, it took a little bit of work, but this is still today. And I've spoken about a lot of different business models the best work from home opportunity for anyone. Even if you're an absolute beginner, you don't know how to code, you don't know how to pick products, you don't know anything about traffic, you don't know anything about sales funnels, you can learn this stuff. It is actually pretty easy to learn if you put your mind to it and you become a good student and you learn and take action. So make sure you start affiliate marketing because that is the best way to do it. But don't sell physical products. Make sure you focus on selling digital courses and digital software so that there's that instant download and you can maximize your profits, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Let me know what you learned in the comment section below. Would love to hear your aha moments. And if you got some value, would appreciate some thumbs ups. And if you're like, Aaron, this sounds awesome. I wanna start this business. I need a little bit more detail. I would love to show you how to do that. I can't do that on you know a short YouTube video. We gotta go deep, so that's why I've got a free six-figure workshop. If you want, you can check that out. That's all about affiliate marketing. Uh, you can register for it for free in the description box below or in the comment section, and I hope to see you there. Take care. So I hope you enjoyed the video today and you got lots of value from it. You learned a lot from it. If you like content like this, remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you know every time we come up with a brand new video. And if you want, you can check out one of the videos I recorded recently, super fun. You're gonna get a lot of value from it as well and I hope to see you there. Take care.